we will take the same example that we did in the earlier method. X and Y enter into a joint venture to take a building contract for 1 crore 20 lakhs. They provide the following information regarding the expenditure incurred by them. X bought materials and cement for 30 lakhs, paid the architect for 4 lakhs. So X spent 34 lakh, Y spent 80 lakhs, 70 lakh for cement, license fees 2 lakhs and machinery for 8 lakhs. So that was 80 lakhs. At the end of the contract, contract money was received by X. Y took the machinery for a value of 6 lakh, profits and losses to be shared equally and you are asked to show joint venture account and Y's account in the books of X. X would have to prepare a memorandum joint venture account. Memorandum joint venture account which would let's say put all expenses irrespective of whether X incurred or Y incurred on the on the left hand side. I am not saying debit side because strictly this is not an account. It does not really have a debit or credit. There is no double entry. No corresponding double entry will be there. So memorandum joint venture account. On the left side I will write the expenses. On the right side I will write the incomes. So what were X's expenditure was 34 lakh. Y's expenditure was 80 lakh. Contract money was received by X. So I am writing here. I am saying by X to X but there will be no posting. Would be X received 120 lakhs. And then Y took over a machinery for 6 lakh. So if we look at the profit. You have a profit of 12 lakh. 6 lakh, 6 lakh each being the share of X and Y. This is how a memorandum joint venture account would be prepared. The account would be the same prepared in the books of X and prepared in the books of Y. Same account would be prepared in the books of X and in the books of Y to ascertain the profit which happens to be 12 lakh shared between X and Y, 6 lakh and 6 lakh. How would Y's account look in the books of X? Y's account We will not prepare Y's account here. We will actually prepare joint venture with Y account. We will prepare joint venture with Y account. Because we have already prepared Y's account before. So what we are doing is a memorandum joint venture account and we will prepare joint venture with Y account. Joint venture with Y account. Joint venture with Y account will have only transactions which X has entered into. So what did X enter into? X incurred an expenditure of 34 lakh. Joint venture with Y account debit to bank. Assuming cash was paid, check was issued. So this would be 34 lakh. Y incurred expense of 80 lakh. There is no entry. Next what happened? At the end of the contract, money was received by X. So bank account debit to joint venture with Y account. How much money? 120 lakhs. So we have the expenses paid by X debited to the joint venture account. Income 120 and for the profit or loss, it would be joint venture with Y account debit to profit and loss account. We have 6 lakh. So this is to profit and loss account. To profit and loss account. Therefore, balance 120 less 40. We have 80. Joint venture with Y account, debit to bank, meaning X has to pay Y 80 lakhs. X has to pay Y 80 lakhs. 
memorandum joint venture account expenses by x expenses by y contract price by machinery to profit 6 and 6 this is irrelevant joint venture with y account 34 lakh expense income received by x share of profit or loss therefore final settlement to back here only entries of x have been passed by x 